Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about overhydration. The last video we mentioned dehydration so uh, it's only right that in this video we're going to be talking about overhydration which is a form of water intoxication. So the definition of overhydration is the increased extracellular fluid volume um, due to the pure water excess or water intoxication and it's often an induced condition. The clinical symptoms of overhydration is disordered cerebral function, nausea, vomiting, headache, confusion, and in severe cases, we can get into a coma and then eventually death. So the etiology of overhydration is we have excessive unmonitored intravascular infusion. So um, this can be in the case of a saline solution being administered or Ringer's lactate. So we have too much of it being infused into, for example, a patient who's lying in bed in a hospital and he has an excessive amount of fluid being administered into him. Another case can be when you have a renal retention of sodium and water, and those cases can be in congestive heart, congestive heart failure, acute glomerul, acute. So another case can be in renal retention of sodium and water. So um, congestive heart failure, acute glomerulonephritis, cirrhosis, Cushing syndrome, and chronic renal failure. The morphological features of overhydration is a sudden amount of weight gain, and you will see hematological and biochemical changes, which include reduced plasma electrolytes and lowered plasma proteins. And also we have a reduced pack cell volume, which is the opposite of dehydration where we have an increased pack cell volume.